I'm Nathan Judo. I'm here again with West Brom reporter Steve Maidley. Steve, straight down to business. What's the latest on Callum McManaman? Uh, Albion have made a second bid. They expect that second bid to be rejected, although they've not formally been, been told that it's been rejected as yet, but we expect it to be rejected. We think that's between four and four and a half million pounds. Albion are determined to get in, they're not going to be deterred, so expect them to go back sometime this week with, with, with a third bid, uh, kind of around, around about the, the five million pound mark. Um, I expect a deal will get done at some point in the window. McManaman clearly w w wants the move, Albion want the move. Wigan are obviously going to hold out for the best price they can get, but I'd, I'd be surprised if the deal's not done some point between now, now and the end of January. And some players out today, does that help with transfer funds? It does, certainly in terms of wages and freeing up space in the squad. Silvestre Varela has gone, um, hasn't really worked. Um, and another summer signing, Sebastian Blanco, he's on, he's on his way out to San Lorenzo. Um, Luke Daniels as well. Um, I keep calling him a young goalkeeper, but he's, he's, he's 27 now, I think. But he's been at, been at the club for 18 years, for 11 years, sorry. Hasn't, hasn't really played, played very much. Um, he's off to Scunthorpe. Um, which won't free up too much, too much in the way of wages, but a little bit. Um, Varela and Blanco will free up a, a little bit more, and that will help in terms of the McManum moves. And any other names been linked? Uh, Michael Essien was an interesting name um, linked in the Italian press overnight. Um, I've checked, checked that one out. I'm, I'm told that it's not entirely without foundation in that AC Milan um, want to move Essien on. His agent's trying to secure him a club and has contacted a load of um, clubs across Europe, one of which is Albion basically to flag up the fact, the fact that he's available. At the moment, um, it's not one that I'll be uh, uh, going to pursue, but um, who, who knows what happens in a couple of weeks' time. So watch this space. Great. Cheers, Steve. Well, you can join me and Steve later on this week and this weekend as the Baggies take on Birmingham City in the FA Cup.